Welcome to the October Mashpee Council on Aging and Senior News Program. I'm Betsy Joseph, wishing you a happy fall. We all know that October means Halloween, and the Senior Center will offer some interesting events to celebrate. First of all, Gothic Ghost Tales by Candlelight, Friday, October 28th at 1.30 p.m. Rita Parisi from Waterfall Productions will be presenting theatrical performances of three ghost stories. I sat huddled on the cold ledge. The atmosphere in the cave was tense. The slap slap of the water against the rock wall was quicker, louder, more verbal. It was sheer terror. Come enjoy this fun event. As always, for most events, RSVP by calling the Senior Center at 508 539-1440. This is our Halloween event for 2016. Refreshments will be served and feel free to come in costume. Important reminder, Medicare open enrollment presentation on Friday, October 14th at 10.30. The open enrollment period is October 15th to December 7th. Medicare Advantage Part C and Prescription Part D plans change every year. Please join Sheila Curtis, Shine Regional Manager for this Medicare overview and open enrollment presentation for Medicare beneficiaries. Stop by the front desk or call the Senior Center to make a reservation. October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Domestic violence is a pattern of coercive and controlling behaviors that one person uses over another to gain power and control. Domestic violence can include physical abuse, emotional abuse, such as isolating friend, victims from friends and family, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, belittling somebody, and financial abuse, controlling someone's money or access to money. Some early signs that a partner may be abusive, unpredictable mood swings, extreme jealousy, explosive behavior, isolation from friends and family. 37% of Mashpee's population is made up of citizens 60 and older, and unfortunately, our older population is not immune to domestic violence. Abuse, later in life occurs when an older person is subjected to a pattern of coercive behaviors used to gain power and control by a family member or someone whom the elder has an ongoing relationship with. Like many young survivors of domestic violence, older survivors often choose not to reveal abuse. This can be due to their own disabilities or medical issues, fear, shame, isolation, in their ideas about their options. Some signs of abuse. The victim appears withdrawn, nervous, fearful, or has atypical behavior. The victim is isolated from friends and family. The victim has bruising or pressure marks or broken bones and has odd explanations for the injuries. If you suspect an older person is being abused and you fear for someone's immediate safety, please call 911. If the danger is not immediate, but you suspect that abuse has occurred or is occurring, please tell someone. To report suspected elder abuse, neglect, or financial exploitation, contact Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands Elder Abuse Hotline at 1-800-922-2275. The identity of the reporter is kept confidential. Mashpee Senior Center hosts a representative from Independence House every second Friday of the month from 10 to 12. Stop by to learn more. Please contact me anytime at 508-539-1480, extension 7253. Speak out. Let's work together to stop domestic violence in our community.
important, important voter registration for seniors, Tuesday, October 18th, 9 to 11 a.m. The Mashpee Town Clerk's Office will have a representative at the Mashpee Senior Center to register you to vote. October 19th is the last day to register for the national presidential election to be held on November 8th. And we know we all need to be voting on that day. If you need a ride on November 8th, the Senior Center would be pleased to provide transportation for anybody. Call the Senior Center or stop by to sign up. There's an arts and crafts class. Grapevine wreaths are being made on October 24th. Monday at 1 o'clock. Who doesn't love an owl? Time to decorate for fall, so not, why not make one of these adorable owl-inspired autumn wreaths for your home? All materials and instruction is provided to make these easy and fun. RSVP is of course required. On Tuesday, October 25th, join Jill Jilson for a photographic journey as she presents a travelogue of her recent trip through Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and St. Petersburg, Russia. Again, reservations. The Senior Painter's Watercolor class is resuming Tuesday, September 13th to the 18th at one o'clock. It's a six week course, basic watercolor technique. Here's your chance to learn from a skilled, experienced instructor, Gretchen Irving. A small fee per person. RSVPs required. Book Club, third Friday of the month at two o'clock. This selection on October 21st is Caleb Carr's novel, The Alienist, an engrossing mystery set in 1896 New York City when those who studied the emerging discipline of psychology were called alienists. Sounds like a good book. Give it a try. Like to sing? The Singing Seniors a very informal singing group invites you to join us on Thursday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30 at the Mashpee Senior Center. We rehearse a variety of musical tunes from old to new. Practices started in September and will end in June. We bring our music to senior rehab and daycare audiences throughout Upper Cape on Thursday afternoons. No auditions, just show up. Want to learn how to make better use of your PC? We offer one-on-one -on -one training every first and third Monday each month. In October, it's Monday, October 3rd and 17th, 10 to 11.30 a.m. These sessions are for PC laptop users, not Apple. Upgrade or improve your email word processing or spreadsheet skills on your own laptop. One-on-one -on -one coaching and half-hour appointments with Ray Goodall. Previously, Ray coached seniors at Indian River State College in Florida. For an appointment, call 539-1440 or stop by. Get the most out of your smartphone, Thursday, October 27th, noon to 2 p.m. Do you own a smartphone? Are you using only a small portion of your phone's features? It can do amazing things for you. Join Greg McKelvey, the PC and Gadgets Guy, at the Senior Center to find out how to utilize this helpful device. Open to Mashpee Seniors only. Stop by the front desk to sign up or give a call. On the first and third Thursdays of the 50 plus Job Seekers Group, four o'clock, Job Seekers Regional Networking Group presents it. And if you're stuck in a career you don't want, or don't feel challenged by, come see what this is like. If you're a little rusty with your interview skills, come maximize your opportunities on LinkedIn. Join fellow job seekers for a bi-weekly networking group focused on identifying issues that get in your way of accomplishing your job searching goals and landing your dream job. Hi, I'm Darlene Perkins. I'm the Outreach Coordinator at the Mashpee Senior Center. The mission statement for the Mashpee Senior Center Outreach Program is 
to assist seniors in our community to find the resources they need to help them make the best choices to maintain the highest quality of life possible. This morning, I'm going to share a couple of these programs that are coming up in October and November. Starting in October, October 15th through December 7th is open enrollment for Medicare. This is the time you need to check and make sure all your prescriptions are covered by the companies that you have at this time. What we recommend is that you call the Senior Center at 508-539-1440 and make a SHINE appointment. Our SHINE counselors are trained and are very helpful in helping you make the right decision that will fit in your schedule and you won't go into the donut hole. We also have fuel assistance, which is another program that can help you by assisting you with your fuel cost. This program is started now. We are an agency that are helping the South Shore Community Action Incorporated to um, fill out applications for fuel assistance. The income limits are for one person $34,001 per year and for two persons is $44,463. These programs are to help you be able to sustain your income so that you can live the best quality of life in your community possible. Please call me Darlene Perkins at the Mashby Senior Center so I can help you find programs out there that can help you if you're struggling. Thank you and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks to our friends at the Mashpee Council on Aging once again. Those of you who have email addresses in our database have been receiving an email communication from us updating you on activities at the Senior Center and the surrounding communities. The friends have been supporting the costs associated with us and we're very appreciative of their help. The thrift shop is grateful to the many people who donate Help goes to support the Senior Center as well as other community needs. We do ask, however, that you don't leave donations outside the shop when it's not open. Too many wonderful donations have been ruined by weather because our volunteers weren't there at the shop to accept the donations. So drop off the donations only during open hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 9 to 1 p.m., Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 3. interested in quitting smoking, want to learn more about smoking cessation resources and the current tobacco products that youth are using like e-cigarettes, come attend the Smoking Cessation and Tobacco Product Trends session at the Center on Monday, October 17th at 1 p.m. And remember, you can quit smoking. This program is presented by Kathleen Wilbur, Program Manager of the Southeast Tobacco-Free Community Partnership. LGBT people need to be aware of recent developments that change how Medicare and Medicaid work for them. First, the Supreme Court's legalization of same-sex marriage in all states changed how Medicare and Medicaid evaluate the eligibility of same-sex spouses for both programs. Depending on the program and the individual circumstances, the changes can be positive or negative. Additionally, Medicare has begun covering gender reassignment surgery and issued new rules that protect transgender older adults from sex discrimination in health care. For more information, go to the National Resource Center for LGBT Aging at lgbtagingcenter.org. Have questions about your health? We all do at one time or another, and we'd like to ask a nurse. Each month, Betty Blackham, RN of the VNA, is at the Senior Center to answer your health questions on the fourth Friday of each month. Take advantage of this free service at the Senior Center. Stop by October 28th, 9 o'clock. Flu season, yeah, flu season is just around the corner. Here are a few facts about the flu vaccine. The flu shot cannot cause the flu. It's not a live vaccine. 
if a person comes down with flu-like symptoms right after receiving the flu shot, it could be the body's natural reaction to the killed virus, or it could be a coincidence. The person may have been coming down with the virus already. It takes 10 days to two weeks to obtain the full protection of the flu vaccine, so get yours early in the season. I think I'll go this afternoon. Each year, a new vaccine is created to cover the current viruses circulating around. So even if you had a flu shot last year, you need to get another one this year to make sure you stay healthy. Flu vaccination can reduce the risk of flu-related hospitalization, such as pneumonia and bronchitis in older adults, so it's really important to get that shot. Hope Dementia and Alzheimer's services are specifically for people with memory impairment and their care partners. Wednesday, October 12th and 26th, 1.30 to 3.30. CARES provides an opportunity for families affected by memory impairment to participate in two separate support groups held simultaneously that provide information, guidance, and respite to care partners and conversation and socialization for those with memory impairment. The sessions are available at the Senior Center on the second and fourth Wednesday each month from 1.30 to 3.30. To register, please call Hope Dementia and Alzheimer's Services at 508-775-5656. Hearing tests take place on Monday, October 3rd, 9.15 to 11 o'clock by appointment Call the Senior Center or stop by to schedule an appointment. Available the first Monday of each month. Foot Care, Wednesday, October 19th, 10 to 3.30, also by appointment. There is a fee. Again, call the center. Have questions about medications? Do you want to find out more about potential drug interactions? Richard Starzik from Walgreens is here on the first Tuesday of each month from 11 to 1 to answer any questions you may have. Drop in, meet Rich, and get your questions answered. He'll be here on Tuesday, October 4th. The Senior Center offers transportation to Boston area hospitals. Enjoy comfortable, wheelchair accessible transport from Cape Cod directly to 15 Boston area hospitals Monday through Friday by reservation. The bus stops in Wellfleet, Eastham, Orleans, Harwich, Barnstable commuter lot, and the Sagamore commuter lot. Reservations are a must. 800-352-7155, Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. The fare, $30 round trip, $15 one way. Here's Special Officer Tara Carline with another scam alert. My name is Tara Carline. I'm a special police officer and victim advocate for Mashpee Police Department. Mashpee Police Department continues to receive reports from Mashpee citizens regarding calls from the IRS. These calls are threatening owed money, lawsuits, arrest warrants, and are asking the person to pay a debt by gift card. Please remember, the IRS will never call you. As a rule, never give out any personal information, and please contact me. 508-539-1480, extension 7253, regarding the legitimacy of a call. Thank you. Join us for Coffee with the Command staff on Friday, October 28th, 10 to 1. Join Mashpee Police Chief Scott Carline, Captain John Santangelo, Operations Lieutenant Thomas Rose, and Administration Lieutenant Sean Sullivan at the Senior Center for Coffee. It'll be a, the second installment of Coffee with the Command Staff, and Chief Carline is looking forward to this becoming a quarterly get-together with the community. All Mashpee seniors are encouraged to attend. RSVP at the Senior Center. Chief Carline believes the key to having a successful police department is being accessible and approachable. These engagements can provide an atmosphere for positive dialogue about our community. Available on the third Wednesday of each month is legal assistance. We're fortunate to have attorneys that visit the Senior Center on a monthly basis. Their appointment schedules are always completely booked. 
Please be aware that these appointments are for Mashpee seniors only, for consultations only, and not for dealing with ongoing legal issues. We respectfully request that you limit your appointments during the year so others may be accommodated. The attorney and the fields that each would feel most qualified to assist seniors with by appointment are Attorney Thomas Kosman of SCCLS, Monday, October 24th at 10 o'clock. The South Coastal Counties Legal Services, Elder Care Project, has attorneys who visit the Cape and Island Senior Centers weekly, including Mashpee, and provide legal services to elders who are economically or socially disadvantaged. Priority areas include housing, government benefits, Medicare, Medicaid, reverse mortgage counseling, and general health law concerns. Attorney Michael Lavender is coming October 4th, Tuesday at 1 o'clock. He deals with general legal problems, trusts, estate planning, and settlement. Attorney Patricia Mello's office on Tuesday, October 11th at 9 o'clock, deal with wills, health care choices, nursing home, Medicaid planning, estate planning, asset protection, and guardianships. Please try to consider the urgent questions you have and try to choose the appropriate attorney. Please note, the lawyers don't handle questions regarding criminal matters. The Travel Club has so many things going on next month. Please call the Senior Center to find out about the following fun activities. Twin Rivers Spooky Good Time, a Covered Bridges of New Hampshire Fall Foliage Lunch, the show The King and I in Boston, a trip to Foxwoods, the Holiday Pops Musical Concert, a show, The Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. The Lion King is in Boston. So much to do. Just call the Senior Center and find out where and when. It's not just about the Patriots and the Red Sox. Our Mashpee High School Fall sports are in full swing, and you're always welcome to come and cheer the athletes on to victory. The defending state champion football team is off to a great start, as are the soccer, golf, and field hockey teams. Can't make it to the game? Watch them on Mashpee TV Channel 99. All home football games will be replayed on Mondays at 7 o'clock, as well as other times. Check mashptv.com for the latest schedule. 